Dr. Vicki here. So let's talk today about snow shoveling and lower back pain because snow here in Colorado is heavy and wet and we get a lot of it. It's gone very quickly. Uh, we're fortunate on that, but you still have to shovel most days and it gets to be heavy. So you want to make sure you stretch well before you go out and after hamstrings, quadriceps, lower back. And then if you do run into trouble, with your lower back lifting that heavy snow. Um, a lot of times people will have a core that's not stabilized. They'll have a back that's not stabilized and possibly hips and glutes. So when I use the cold laser, I reboot those muscles so they're all firing equally. So when you bend with your knees over to lift up the snow, then you're not overexerting your back because you're, you're anterior core or your front muscles in your in your core aren't working properly. So the cold laser is great for chronic injuries, but it's also great for acute injuries like this. And sometimes using um, kinesio tape in certain areas, if you've got a predisposition for weakness in certain areas would be a good idea prior to doing the sh snow shoveling. So we have um, the option of a back belt too. I don't like using back belts because I think that gives us an abnormal amount of security and we can overdo it really fast with those. So people will wear those 24 seven and that's a problem because you're not activating those back muscles. It will take the pressure off of those muscles, but it also doesn't use those muscles very well. So then you take the back brace off and you go to do something, you pick up a towel, you bend over and you throw your back out. So that's the bad thing about using back braces. So if you've got any questions about snow shoveling techniques or uh, about your lower back pain, give Souter Chiropractic a call at 303-385-3432 or SouterChiropractic.com.